there! So in this episode, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite dishes. I happen to be really hungry, so not only am I preparing it for myself, but I thought that I'd show you how to prepare it while I'm at it. It's called Save the Tuna Salad on Rye, and it's developed by Chad Sarno and Chris Carr. They're both totally awesome. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you about them, I'm going to show you how to prepare the dish, and I'm also going to do a nutritional comparison between this plant-based tuna salad and a traditional tuna salad. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. I'm Diana Goldman, and you're watching Bean Town Kitchen, where plant-based dishes are shared that you and your body will love. So the recipe that I'm going to prepare for you comes from this cookbook which I love called Crazy Sexy Kitchen by Chad Sarno and Chris Carr. So Chad Sarno is a fantastic chef. He's also the VP of Education for the movie Online Cooking School. I did do that program. I loved it. So if you're interested in plant-based cooking and you really want to up your kitchen game, I highly recommend that program. Chris Carr is a multiple New York Times bestselling author. She's a wellness advocate. She's super smart, super inspiring, and a woman has some serious positive mental attitude. Definitely check out her website, and while you're at it, watch the trailer for her film, Crazy Sex and Cancer. These are the ingredients all prepped and ready for the Save the Tuna Salad. For a bit of an ocean flavor, you have the option of adding some kelp granules. To find the complete recipe, go to the recipe section of Chris Carr's website. Okay, so I've prepped my ingredients ahead of time and then this comes together pretty quickly. The first thing that I'm going to do is blend together, or I should say process together, in my food processor, these sunflower seeds which have been soaking already. And then, going to add to them the almonds which have been soaking. And then I'm going to process these. Oops, a couple more are left out. I don't want to leave anything behind. Then I'm going to process these until they are finely ground. just use this spatula to scrape down the sides so that we don't have any large pieces. We're looking to really finely ground it and not leave any large chunks behind. Kind of want to think about a tuna sort of texture. And I'm going to give it one more whirl. Excellent. So I'm going to just transfer this into a bowl, see if I can manage not to have the blade fall into the bowl. That's always kind of the tricky part, right, with a food processor. And then, once I've done that, I'm going to add my other ingredients. I think I've got just about everything out of here. And then what I'm going to do is add to this mixture the celery, which has been ground, uh, chopped up already, some dill, and I have some fresh dill. I happen to, you could also use a dry dill, you don't necessarily need to use fresh dill. I happen to have fresh dill because I catered a party recently and I made some uh, plant-based spanakopita and I had some fresh dill in it. So fresh dill, some chopped red onions, pickles, uh, this is dried oregano, you could also use fresh oregano, the quantities differ if you're using fresh versus dry and I think I can write the conversion for you somewhere uh, on the screen, some salt here, some freshly ground black pepper, some fresh squeezed lemon juice, and some sweetness with some agave. I'm going to give this a nice mix. And then really, my tuna salad is all set to go. Okay, so it's all done. This is really delicious. 
inside it. It's a little bit sweet from the agave. It's got some crunch from the pickles, from the onions. It's got a wonderful dill flavor. It's really, really good. Now I'm ready to make the sandwich. I toasted two pieces of whole grain rye bread. Then I'm going to spread on them some avocado, some Dijon mustard, the save the tuna salad, sliced tomatoes, and lettuce. Now I'm going to do a nutritional comparison between the Save the Tuna Salad and a traditional tuna salad. The traditional one has 50% more calories and 50% less calcium. The plant-based tuna salad has no cholesterol as plant foods simply don't contain cholesterol. And when it comes to protein, it's a myth that more protein is better. The average American diet based on animal products is too high in protein. This can lead to kidney disease, cancer, osteoporosis, and kidney stones. To learn more about this, check out these two films, Forks Over Knives and What the Health. So if you like the look of this recipe, then definitely give it a try. And let me know in the comments how you like it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. A plant-based diet is great for the planet, great for the animals, and great for you. Lots of love to you.